So I'm going to go through my Mobius discoveries. Um, I made some Mobius tape. You get three of these to a page. You can see that they're kind of opposite. So um, this is a, a loop with no flips. You can see it's got two surfaces, an inside surface and an outside surface. But a Mobius strip is kind of one surface, a one boundary. It's the same thing, but with a 180 flip. Um, yeah, there's only one edge, one surface. It's a Mobius strip. And they get interesting because you can you can cut the Mobius strip down the middle to yield um, another loop. It's got uh, actually four twists in it, whereas we started with one twist in this. And what is interesting is that you can you can make them intersect. You can see here I put a little half slit. They can they can join. So we've made a line, the intersection of two planes. And we can kill all the twists by giving the Mobius strip with one flip, one, two lines, that flattens it. Um, if we go on to two flips, um, that gets boring, because when you cut it up by a third, you can just see that a little loop drops off the end, nothing exciting. So we won't cover Mobius strips with an even number of twists, because they're not Mobius strips. They have two boundaries. Um, I've gone on to making Mobius strips with three flips. Uh, here is a Mobius strip with three flips, and it's been cut down the middle. Um, you can see I, I can start here in the middle, and that actually yields a nice loop. The loop has an overhand knot in it. Um, I've designed this Mobius paper to, to be cut by one third, so you cut it by a third. When you cut a Mobius strip with uh, three flips by one third, you get an interesting shape, which is right here. We have a small black loop. It has one surface because if you start here, if you travel around it, if your pin doesn't need the paper, you end up back where you start. We know it has one surface, just like the original Mobius strip. And you can see that the small loop comes from the middle one third of the paper. However, there's again the big loop, the big blue loop. It has two surfaces. It's got an outside surface, which I've got a ziggle on it. And then it has the inside surface, which is blank. And you can see on the Mobius paper, it came from opposite sides. Um, and again, there's the overhand knot. So we won't focus on Mobius strips cut by a third. We'll get rid of that. We'll look at the Mobius strip that's been cut down the middle. Um, and again, I've added some intersections to this. So I've taken the Mobius strip and I've added six intersections and I can make it flat. I've also gone on to Mobius strips with five flips right here, cut in the middle and it takes 10 intersections to, to flatten this one out. And it's interesting that I've kind of made this up on my own. Um, I found a book from 1964, Experiments in Topology. And again, they say that you can see here the results. Um, before cutting with one twist, we get four flips. Um, with, with three flips, after cutting, we get eight twists. Um, and my results kind of add to that. If we look at the results here, we know that uh, um, before cutting, there's one twist. After we have four flips, we need two intersections here and here to flatten it. But this actually makes um, another shape in a higher dimension with, with three boundaries. What I've done to demonstrate that, I've, I've basically laid it out and traced it. You can see, one, two, three. Or you can imagine inking the edge of this like a cookie cutter and just taking a stamp of it. Uh, there's three boundaries. That also works for um, the Mobius strip with the... Uh, you can see. Mobius strip with three flips. We have seven boundaries. So again, uh, the Mobius strip with three flips. There's eight twists in it. We need six intersections to flatten it. And they can be seen here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we trace out the boundaries, we have the seven boundaries. Um, and you can see the boundaries right here, which I've traced out from laying this over it. Um, this works up to, I've gone as far as seven flips, but you can, I guess you can appreciate that the solution time gets more, more lengthy because we need uh, 14 lines to flatten it and it takes a lot of time to figure out the solution and we get 15 boundaries. So uh, the left hand side of the page is known facts and 
maybe the the lines to flatten the Mobius strip and the boundaries that it creates in higher dimension, maybe that's new. I can't find evidence on the net that anyone else has, has found that result. Um, uh, Mobius strips are quite strange, obviously. We'll see what other discoveries we come up with with uh, being obsessed over Mobius strips, as you can see in my previous work. Hope you enjoyed my film um, on YouTube. That's it. The time is... 9.25 on May 22nd, 2008, by exact UTC time.